interesting is we've been talking about martial arts being an art, writing being an art, but you would mention the fact that there's this whole sort of scientific component of understanding the physics of movement of bodies and things like mm. that. Do you see an analogy there between balancing, I don't know if it's the science of writing, but maybe the guidelines for writing that would be equivalent to the sort of scientific side of martial arts and how a writer should be approaching that? Yeah, probably. There are rules of grammar. There are rules of language that you have to understand in the same way that there are rules of movements. Bodies will only move in certain ways and we can train our bodies to go beyond those basic movements. And that's a lot of what the martial arts does. A lot of martial arts training is basically training your whole body to move as a single unit. So just because I'm punching with my fist, that's just the end result. The fact that my fist is a thing that connects is the end result of an entire chain of events that works with the body. You understand the footwork and the stance and the movement and everything else to develop a good punch. So the mechanics and the sort of kinesiology of physical movement I was going to say it's unchangeable. That's not entirely true. You can change it to some degree, but there are certain boundaries within it in the same way that with writing, there are boundaries of language and grammar. You can't just randomly throw words at the page and say, well, that's experimental because it's, it's just senseless. But the better you get at it and the more you understand it, the more you can manipulate that to develop and draw up your own style and to make something interesting. And that's, I suppose, within writing, that's where we start having this seemingly sort of effortless prose that just conveys ideas beautifully which is what we're aiming for and like that with the martial arts once you understand good technique and you relax and you practice and you do it again and again and you forge your body to be able to do the things you ask of it then you can make seemingly very difficult or athletic or unusual movements seem effortless yeah again it comes back to the practice the master that makes these things look effortless is because they're really fit, they're really strong, they've put in thousands of hours of practice really developing good technique to make something look easy is really hard.